de Blasio upping the ante in the debate over whether places named for slave owners should be renamed. But uh, first it was a building at Yale where his son goes to college. Now the mayor will listen to the concerns of New Yorkers about other New York City places with names in question. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer with this story. Absolutely. A one word answer from Mayor de Blasio when asked if he thought Calhoun College, the college son Dante attends at Yale University, should be renamed because it honors John C. Calhoun, an ardent supporter of slavery. As a young man of African descent, that doesn't feel particularly appropriate to live, live in a place named after the chief segregationist leader of the South in that period of time. But what about changing things in New York City, which has many, many places named for slave owners? The George Washington Bridge. Washington Heights, Madison Square Garden, and Madison Avenue, Astor Place, Delancey Street, Chambers Street, and so on. The answer, it seems, is that the mayor will think about it. The mayor is not checking a list of sites to determine which should be renamed and which shouldn't, said Press Secretary Karen Hinton. If someone has a concern about a specific name, they should absolutely share those concerns. And with City Hall awash in totems to slave owners, a statue of George Washington in the lobby, Thomas Jefferson in the council chair, Chamber, I asked Council Speaker Melissa Mark Viverito how she stands on rechristening places like Washington Heights and Astoria, Queens. Well, I think it's a debate that we should definitely have in this city. I wouldn't say that you necessarily change the George Washington Bridge, but what you do, you, re you name something in the city that, that equally is important, that done a lot of help for America. I think it's up to the constituents. I don't know. I have no opinion. But he was no, slave. It's part of our history, and uh, we've come hopefully a long way. It's a great idea actually because it, it had like a tragic past and there could be some something better the past is the past we should be focusing more on the present and the future well i asked mayor de blasio's press secretary if the mayor is asking new yorkers to tell him which places should have their names changed she said people can tell the mayor call 311 or call the media. Dana? It'll be interesting to see the response to that. You did a lot of uh, digging in history, finding more than you expected. I did. Marcia, thank you.